All right, it's still technically January right now, but welcome to the February vlog because we are starting this vlog with a spoiler because in the TBR for February, I rolled the punishment of getting spoiled and Fee has decided to spoil Iron Widow for me. I asked her to record the spoiler in a voice message. I'm gonna listen to it now. I'm gonna mute it for you guys so you won't hear what the spoiler is. You'll just see my reaction to it. So here we go. I am listening to a spoiler from Iron Widow by Shi Lan J. Xiao. I'm listening to a spoiler now and there it goes. There's a spoiler now I'm listening to. It's a big spoiler wow. Oh my god, I can't believe I know this now. I was listening and like seeing where this was going. She spoiled the death of a character for me. God damn it. <sighs> Boy, is that motivating me to always finish my TBR. Hello. It is February 1st. Welcome to the February vlog. Uh, um, I am just leaving my rec center. And we're in a winter storm morning right now, so walking out to the snowstorm. But my new strategy for working out is to do it after work. That way, on the weekends, it won't drain me because I usually get really, really tired after working out. So now I'll be chilling zen to go home, do some work on the computer, and then read and go to bed. That is the new plan of attack. But we have to get through a little bit of snowiness going on in here. Oh. And it's a wintry wonderland now. My car. <laughs> and my boss has not called me yet to tell me not to come in. And if I drive all the way there and then I get sent home, I'm going to be pissed. Yeah. Don't have to work. I was already clearing off my car. Had it pretty much cleared. And then they're like, don't come in. That's them still talking to me. <laughs> Free day. Hello. You should go on. Hello, Lucy. What you thinking, huh? Yo. <laughs> the baby. Hello, I am at work. No one else is here but me. Because I drew the short straw and needed to make up hours because we had a snow day all in Wednesday. So, yay, it's my office <laughs> that I share with three other people, sometimes four. Good morning. It is February 5th now. Ooh, boy, do I look sleepy. I. Look like somebody punched me. I don't think anyone punched me. Anyway, it is Saturday and we have a lot of stuff to do. And all the things that I wanted to do have been thrown out the window. So, whatever, it's fine. But we are going to go to my parents and do my taxes. Going to try to get that refund ASAP. Um, and that'll go to the moving fund basically if I get anything good we do have one fun event today well technically two one of my orders well my order from Torrid not one of them my only one from uh, Torrid has arrived at the store so we're gonna go to Torrid today and go see if these clothes fit me and if not we will return them all um, <laughs> and then we've got a stream to do today and I've got lots of little things to do but the biggest is, let's go do our taxes. We can't go do our taxes. The cat, she's broken. <laughs> what do we do with this? You have a bad day today too. You have a vet appointment. Yeah, but you don't, you're blissfully unaware right now. <laughs> what? Wiggly. Wiggly. She will wiggle, wiggle, wiggly will wiggle tonight. Ah, <laughs> a tail. Happy cat. 
Don't let anybody ever tell you that this cat is not happy because this is the face of a very happy cat. Yeah. <laughs> Like, you know it's me. Hi. You having trouble? I was just massaging oh. her. Oh. You know, she jumped down because dad opened the door. Baby. And I've been to this. So we have egg. Who has the egg? What? Okay. Every time. She hits me with it. You guys see this? Eh, knock me in the shin. Huh? Every time. Oi! Ow! Doing the taxes. I've done my federal. Now we're doing the state. We have to wait for the state program to install because we use H&R Block in this household. <laughs> Which is funny because I have been applying to jobs as a receptionist for H and R Block, which I find is really funny. They're done. <laughs> They're officially done. I just need to send my state stuff in the mail because we don't pay an extra twenty dollars to do an e-file. That's not the kind of household we are. <laughs> so, just need to go find an envelope, and then it's golden time. A beautiful day in Colorado for once. <laughs> and a giant crack in my windshield. <laughs> Good times. <laughs> We're dancing in the street with the Goldens today here in Golden, Colorado. We're so glad that you got to come down today and have some fun with us and all your Goldens. Thanks for sharing them with us today. <laughs> Hi, Papa. Oh, a tiny one. Oh, Hi, baby. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Excuse me. Watch for the tails. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I see a bombadil. That is Charlie. Hi, buddy. Hi. I know I miss you too. Come on. Come on. Come on, Charlie. Hello. Hello. Hey, everybody. Hello. Does your brother? Yeah. Bombadil meet friends. Yeah. That's so exciting! Oh you go, bud. Good job. Good job. Great. Yep. All the friends. Forty times. Everybody, a little baby one. Where, where is the visitor center? That way. Okay. Okay. Oh my God! Look at the tiny. Charlie. That is a baby Charlie. Oh my God! Oh. <laughs> there he goes. Good job, Charlie. Have you on an agility course yet? <laughs> yes. Good boy. Hello, friends! <laughs> All the friends! They were so tiny! Oh my gosh, Bombadil! <laughs> oh, he is like puppy. the biggest puppy fan you will ever meet. Yeah. yeah. How old? Uh, four months? Four months, yeah. <laughs> What's the name? Pip! Pip! Oh my god! Oh. 
<laughs> Everybody come say hi. We're in Torian. My new, even these skinny jeans are still that, <clears throat> but I have this shirt. I like the sleeves on it, but I don't know if I can pull it off. Hi, we did a stream today. Do you guys like this? This is something that happens to me because my nose is huge and I don't like it. But like I wear my glasses and then they leave the spots. <laughs> and now I'm super self-conscious about it. So nobody look, okay? Um, but today for stream, I got to do this for a little bit. <laughs> Woo! So February 5th, we will see how long it takes to finish this. I have far more things to do, uh, but we, we did our word count today, we did a little over, we did 1700 words, and some extra, um, and worked on some goal stuff, so, oh, they all fell out. What I'm trying to do is think of some rewards for myself, and methods to get these awards, and I made a new little mini goals, just so I can like see them and see my priorities like my windshield which is gonna be just on the under three hundred dollars to fix I finished Iron Widow and yeah let's talk about Iron Widow Iron Widow look at her I really really enjoyed this um, it's also just like fucking gorgeous by the way it is in fact LGBT yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful book. Love it. But I really, really like this. I I did lose connection with it a little bit near the end because I was a little confused. Um, I think this whole time I was a little confused by the chrysalises themselves and their mechanics of it. I'm not really sure why they refer to them as iron. It's everything like it was an iron prince, there's an iron demon, iron widow. And I'm like, I'm not quite 100% sure about how that worked because they didn't seem like they were actually made of metal, but they were made of some other stuff. I don't know. Um, I was still devastated by the spoiler that I received for this book because V spoiled it for me as per my punishment. And to be honest, I thought it was somebody else that was going to die, so it was still kind of not a spoiler, but that's just because I failed to remember who actually died uh, for the spoiler. But um, I think the epilogue has a crazy good plot twist that were like, what? Um, which I found to be very, very cool. But I super duper like this and it's such a pretty book. There were some points where I was like, it wasn't subtle with what it was trying to say, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Um, it was just like, we get it, you know, kind of moments where it's like, we know the same sentence, not sentence itself, but like same conversation and thought process happened a little bit too many times that it's like kind of insinuates that the readers weren't going to get it when, I mean, I got it, but maybe I'm just so smart. <laughs> It was very, very good, and I, I like, I like the aspect of it being kind of historical, but also very futuristic sci-fi, but taking historical figures and putting them in this futuristic world with all of this stuff. So I thought it's, it's an interesting twist. It's a different type of story. I would say that actually, it made me it gave me sky hunter vibes because of like going in and the expectations being very different or like not the expectations but um well i guess they were because i thought sky hunter was gonna be something else and it was something different but i'm not mad about it and the same thing with iron widow i thought this was gonna be something else and it was very different and i'm not mad about it i'm actually happier that it wasn't what I thought it would be. So somehow I think these two are going to be in a category together for the award show next year. I think it's going to be one of those, not, not like it was like 
unexpected, but I think it's going to, I'm going to have to create a new category if I keep getting books where I think it's going to be one thing and then it's not, but I'm super happy about it. I don't know. The expect the unexpected category. Um, I am almost done with Half a Soul as well, and I'm super enjoying this, but it is time for Betty Boo because we work tomorrow at the other job. Another clear day with the snow-capped mountains. We're driving into Boulder to work. Ooh, Boulder, isn't it great? I would like it to be known that on this day, February 6, 2022, that I walked into a Barnes and Nobles to use their restroom and did not come out with more books. I looked, but I resisted. And I would just like it known that I can, in fact, resist buying books, at least from a large chain store. <laughs> We've been working today. I'm just waiting for more orders now because there's none. But I've made over $75 between three orders so far today. So let's hope for more. The downside of this is like if no one's ordering, well, so I'm just gonna sit here and uh, continue reading Half a Soul. I've also started Fable today and I am enjoying it. Hello, we streamed and we had some shenanigans and I finished reading Half a Soul, which I've already put away on the cart so I don't have it on me right now, but super cute. Regency romance with some magic in it if you want that, it's just, adorable and I really liked it. I kind of wish the uh, side character subplot stuff had gone a little differently but I'm fine with it because of the main plot and I I definitely want to read the rest of the series. I think I definitely think I need to read the rest of the series because I think it'll be really fun and apparently the third book is gay which we all know we love reading more queer books. It's just more fun that way. And especially like, I don't see it a lot in historical fiction. I don't see a whole lot of them being represented, which is always refreshing to find. So um, yeah, we're off to a good start in February with some solid reads. Um, but Half a Soul has great little fairy elements and the romance element with very unique characters, so I thumb, thumbs up it. We have to go to bed now though. I stayed up a little bit late to finish my word count for the day. And I will admit right now, so, right, I'm ace, right? We all know this, we know this. I don't write very uh, raunchy things, but the way that this short story has gone and the how the character has kind of developed herself, She's a much more sexual person than me. She's probably one of the most different characters from myself that I've ever written. Um, so I'm a little weirded out by how this historical fiction has turned. Like, I don't go into any explicit detail, but it's definitely, like, the last scene I just wrote is the raunchiest scene I have ever written in my life. And I feel weird about it. But, like... I guess that's author growth where I can that's part of the thing with being an author is putting yourself in other people's shoes to understand their experience and this has just been the most different for me from who I am as a person versus who this character is so this is a very interesting experiment I will say and if I do end up binding all of these short stories together we gonna have a variety <laughs> with the sci-fi story like there's suggestive things but it does not go anywhere and I wanted to make that very clear but this one goes somewhere and I'm like what are these characters it's, it's an exercise in character building and world building and things and I'm not allowed to elaborate too much on them because they're short stories which is making this even more weird and awkward for me because I don't, I don't do these things. 
I don't write short stories and I don't write raunchy, raunchy stuff. But apparently we're experimenting with that now. I feel weird about it. I feel weird admitting it too. But I feel like most of you will probably end up reading it anyway on the Discord. So, fair warning. I guess. I'm gonna go to bed. And tomorrow we're gonna start The Truth Lies Here by Lindsay Klingel. And... I bid you adieu. <laughs> Hello. It is dark times now. Um, I finished work and we're gonna go swimming, which is gonna be weird for me because I usually don't go at night. This is part of the new routine. And I was struggling to find a box because I have to ship some books because somebody bought some books for me on Pango and I don't have a box for it. And I went to Office Depot and they don't have boxes. And I'm like, where am I gonna get one? Because like the post office is not open for me because I work 10 hour days. And it's one of the most frustrating things in my life right now is that they don't have, like they have the priority boxes, but not the regular boxes that I would prefer to buy and not spend a shit ton of money on. <sighs> anyway, we're gonna go swim out our frustrations. Well, no, I won't be swimming because they say they're over capacity. They say that they ha are only allowed to have 40 people in the pool, right? But um, there, I literally just counted. There's 15 people in that pool and they're like, no, we can't have any more people. Have you looked? Because a shit ton of people just walked out. They're not letting anybody in. So I just drove my ass all the way here for no fucking reason. Love it. It is currently February 11th. Uh, it's like 10 in the morning and we are about to start recording audiobook again. I recorded three chapters. Well, the prologue in two chapters back in like December, but I don't like how they sound. So we're just gonna start from scratch yet again. Um, I'm also kind of editing the book as it goes. Like, this is the thing that's gonna like ruin my uh, mental health for the day, is going back and seeing this book that I finished in 2016. God, it was six years ago now. And uh, just seeing all the very rookie mistakes I made and still trying to record an audiobook for something that I see only problems with, you know? <sighs> Stressful. We're going to attempt, I've edited a little bit in, and then I'll try to re-upload the manuscript to Amazon so that the newer one, it's not gonna be like a full improvement on anything, just like little typos and things, and maybe a couple word choice stuff, but I don't have the energy to fully rehaul it, basically. It's something that people don't get to like talk about because once you publish something, that's it. There's no real ability to improve on that itself. You can improve on your own writing in later books and things, which is why I like, I think Hispacac is my stronger book at the moment, but maybe six years from now I'll be like, oh, Hispacac, why'd I write that? that kind of stuff. It's just this constant inability to be consistently proud of something you've done without just looking at all the mistakes. And there's so many mistakes. And one of the things that used to crush me so bad is people would read my book and then they'd come back with a list of typos and I'm like, that's not really helpful. Like, I mean, yeah, I'm aware that at the time you couldn't change anything. You you couldn't go in and re-upload a manuscript. I think you can now, but you couldn't then. And it's like, that's not why I wanted you to read the book, you know, to see all its faults. I wanted, you know, I mean, I wanted to be praised for writing a book. <laughs> but it, like, it never works out the way when you ask for feedback and you think maybe they'll like it, maybe they'll actually say something nice about it, and then people just come back and only want to tell you all the things that they saw wrong with it. And that's just like the nature of humanity, I find, is we want to see the negatives more than anything positive. And that's that's my experience, at least, with people. But 
And then when it comes to people finally saying something positive, you can't believe it because all these other people saw only negatives. So who's, who, who has the more weighted opinion? And it's usually the negatives fun little I'm like I'm already getting depressed and I've only edited the prologue wow this is gonna go great well, I got up to chapter two done <laughs> took five hours to do that long but we streamed and we wrote about 3,500 words and now we're gonna go to bed I'm tired and the depression be hidden right now um, we got a lot to do tomorrow though Hello. Good God. <laughs> Is it, what is it, February 12th? It's February 12th. I'm here. Doing a very important job. Uh, this, is, this is how we spend our time, right? Yeah? Okay. Okay. Yeah, oh, okay. Okay. It's a baby. You know, I have another dog I have to love on too, you know that, right? She's down there, I can't, but I can't. Ow. Lucy? Nine years ago we got her. I know. It'll be adoption day. What? What? What's going on? It's not your adoption day yet. That's next month. Okay. You good? What? Lucy, do you need something? Yeah. See if I'm filming her at all. What? What? Oh. Ow. 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 Honey, I'm right here. It's very difficult to get anything done at this house. They come over to help with renovation. And this is what I get stuck doing. This is the curse. Are you my curse? You are. <laughs> what else? What? What are you whining about? What, Lucy? You can knock this and get food out like this. <laughs> get it. Get the food. That's gonna mop your ass with this. No, you're not. <sighs> oh, she got it. She wins. Yay! Hello. Today. Stuff. Um, I didn't end up staying at my parents very long because they didn't actually need me <laughs> so I instead have come home and I'm the brain is a mess right now okay too many thoughts and one of the things that's been really bothering me is this room and the alignment of this room so we are attempting to rearrange my room at 6 p.m. <laughs> I've already started. I've cleared off this path. This is where I, I, I tend to like throw shit here. You know, I'm trying to get rid of a bookshelf. But I want to move my desk. I want to put my desk in the window here because I'll get a better lighting. Um, and just because. That's about it. Uh, there's no other good good place for it if I'm going to move my bed because I can't. I'm not going to put my bed in the window. That's weird. I have painted a new desk. It's at my parents' house, and I've had this issue of not wanting to move it here yet because I'm trying to move, but also I'm just stagnated in a lot of things in my life right now where I'm not moving yet, and I don't know when I'm going to be moving. It's really hard to find a place in Colorado right now to live, so I'm like, just get it over with and at least move my stuff around and hope for the best. Now, this is gonna be an endeavor because we will have to move bookshelves and things, but 6 p.m. on a Saturday night, we're getting lit doing this. Ma'am, excuse me, ma'am. I was about to vacuum here. Are you, uh, we're gonna have a change, honey. There's a change in the climate, something's in the air. I've sung that a lot today, just FYI. Okay, bye! It is now 6.45 p.m. and I have moved the desk, but you can kind of see how, uh, I only have one lamp. It's just this tiny one behind that monitor there. I have moved the desk yonder, but I need to move the bed 
in order to situate the bed and the big bookshelf there. And I've dug myself into a hole. <laughs> I actually trapped myself and had to crawl under the desk. You can't see. I had to crawl under the desk. <laughs> but uh, I just turned off my computer so that I can actually move things. And I'm only slightly regretting all of my decisions tonight. What's up? I moved the room around. It's nine, just past nine. We have desk. We didn't have to move any of these shelves. We have the bed over here, the other shelf there, and all the other junk is right there right now. I'm not gonna worry about it tonight. I'm gonna just do some writing and uh, go to bed on time because I work on my other job tomorrow morning. Um, yeah, but I didn't. <laughs> I didn't think there was, I still, I don't know where I'm going to put my file cabinets. Uh, that's, it's going to be an issue. I think I'll have to like revamp the way that my closet is and put them in there. Yeah. <laughs> Why did I do this to myself? I'm counting that as my workout though. That was a workout. Oh, I, I moved all those books. I have to reorganize them still now because they're all unorganized now. But lifting them, lifting that, moving my bed, moving all the stuff out, like, I worked out. Okay, counting it. Good night. Hello, it's Valentine's Day. I guess I should say something. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm still single. <laughs> Weird things have happened today. Nothing Valentine related. <laughs> Mind you. Well, one thing did, because I've I've been kind of chatting with this guy, and I just said, "Oh, happy Valentine's Day," and he wrote back, "Happy Valentine's to you too," and then immediately turned off notifications and like the iPhone notified me, and I was like, "Damn, okay, <laughs> bye." I'm fine. <laughs> kind of got a job offer today. I'm not putting any stock in it right now because I'm also kind of worried it's a scam. As of right now, I am confusion. I am distress. <laughs> That's my new single coming out next year. The room is still a mess. I have not put it together. I have not earned any points today, which I don't think I told you guys about my point system thing. To giving myself a reward <laughs> uh but yeah i don't get any points today because i didn't even take my meds which may be the issue we're having right now it's not there's vitamins i didn't reach my word count though either today and i just i came home to try to write and then ended up just like binging on YouTube stuff while trying to write. I did write some, I just didn't reach the word count I was supposed to and now I'm very tired and I need to read because I haven't picked up The Truth Lies Here. It definitely, it lies there. I have not picked it up in a couple days and that's a problem. I don't know what's wrong with me in reading right now, especially physical books, even with my audiobooks. I'm, I'm listening to the ones we're meant to find. And oh my god, have I not been... Have I not been reviewing? Oh lord. <laughs> well, we finished four books this month so far. No, I know, I talked about Iron Widow. I think I talked about Half Soul. Did I talk about Fable? I liked it. There at the end. But I also did just finish yesterday We Hunt the Flame. Um, which I'm probably not going to finish this series. Nothing about it really held my attention. It wasn't bad. It just didn't, I didn't feel it. I was not, I didn't feel this book. I don't really care about the sequel. The world didn't make sense to me. The characters didn't make sense to me. I couldn't follow it well. And I kind of, it kind of fridged a character. And there was another character that dies in this that I did not realize he died until someone was like feeling guilty over their death. And I went, what, they died? Um, but yeah, so unfortunately I'm giving it three because like it's not a bad book. There were parts of it that was like, oh, what's happening? But then I would really quickly be right out of it again. So not totally into it. If I didn't talk about Fable, it was also kind of like 
okay. It wasn't amazing. It does have enough for me to want to keep reading, but I don't have the sequel. I have not figured out the situation I was going to when I came home, and then I came home from work, and I was like, I'll just quickly get my word count in, and then it was struggle to write. But I have figured out plot points and twists for this short story. Not big story, Q. Short story. We're getting there. We're getting, we're getting there. So I'm going to attempt to just read in bed for a bit, but I'm probably going to fall asleep because I'm really, really tired. Hello, it's February 16th. How many days later is it? But I finally have my room kind of together. Yay. We've got the other shelf going. We do have a lot of stuff blocking a little bit. Um, but this is stuff like I'm selling or I frequently use, like my gym bag and stuff. The TBR cart's over here right now. And we've moved a bunch of stuff into the closet. I have this, like, my, some of my clothes are out here now because I have my file cabinets in the closet. So, but I think it's a little bit, I have a little bit more space to move around. And filming will be an interesting thing because the camera, well, there's not a lot of space between bed and here. So my tripod likely will be on my bed. <laughs> well, make it work, but I've done it. I've reorganized, I've moved some posters around. It's not exactly how I'd want it on the walls, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. But we've done that. I've been through the emotional ringer. Uh, the past couple days. Don't really fancy talking about it all that much, but I just, I've been, I've been through some shit this weekend, not weekend, this week, past two days alone, and I'm really quite done with the world, and I would like to be left to my own devices where everything is fine. We got sent home early, not too early today, about an hour early from work because winter storm. We don't know if we're working tomorrow or not really. It's a 50-50 chance if we are, I probably will. But if I don't, that will be nice because I desperately need to catch up on my word count again. Not horribly behind, but behind enough to make me nervous. Also to finish a reading book because I'm trying to find time to do this, but other things keep getting in the way and I want to do so many things, but so little time. Halfway through the ones we're meant to find. I am over halfway through the truth lies here. It is almost 9 p.m. and I'm going to just read for an hour and go to bed and hope for the best. I did exercise yesterday. I went swimming yesterday after work. I didn't go today because of the winter storm and I didn't want to have to drive home in that, but I considered moving all this crap around in my room as my exercise today. We're gonna, we're gonna say that. I am, like, not doing so great with my weight loss right now, and it's bothering the crap out of me, because I don't, I, I just, um, uh, <sighs> it's a bit, I've gained actually a little bit, and that's something I don't like to, I didn't really want to admit, but this is part of the journey with being honest about what's going on and I know that I have slipped into some bad habits. I'm still like eating the correct foods, just the grazing is a problem and then not exercising as much as I need to be is a problem, but we're going to try to get all back on track with that. Peace. Um, I just had to drive an hour and a half away from work to drop off a face shield for one of Turn our... Left on the east I'm turning! Avenue. One of our techs. Uh, and I'm listening to audiobooks, by the way. I finished two books today so far, physical and an audio. But I'm in the middle of... Uh, not in the middle. I just started reading um, Picture of Dorian Gray. And I'm just like... This is one of the first classics that I have just connected with in a while. Um, uh, but Oscar Wilde's hatred for America is so freaking funny. They just had the statement of uh, where good Americans, when they die, go to Paris. I'm like, well, where do bad Americans go? And he's like, they go to America. And I'm like, yeah.
<laughs> it just it cracks me up and I'm I'm quite living for this classic. I haven't really felt this passionate about a classic in a long time, but Oscar Wilde gets me. Okay, I'm gonna drive safely now, even though I'm at a stoplight now. Um, I'll talk about the other books later when I get home because I have another hour and a half to drive all the way back home. Dope. Hello. It is now late and there is a cat. An unfocused cat. What do you want? Did you want to review the books? Okay, so we finished The Truth Lies Here. This book by Lindsay Klingel. I enjoyed it a little more than I thought I would. I thought it was just going to be like a railer mystery thriller, but I'm glad the direction it took at the end. Um, there's a phrase because the main character is trying to basically become a real journalist and get into Northwestern, and so she's investigating some stuff and wants to look at the facts, but there's a good phrase in it that's like, um, when you hear hoofbeats, think horse, not zebra. And um, I like how it went with zebra in the mystery aspect of this. Because not a lot of thriller mysteries are willing to go that direction. So many of them want to do the logical, rational explanation when it's an investigation over something that's more fantastical. So I really appreciated that aspect of this book. Um, I would have liked a few other things in this that didn't happen, like there is a former best friend in this one who is a fucking bitch, and I really would have liked it if our main character had just like lost it at her for a second and put her in her place, but that doesn't really get to happen, and I kind of feel unsatisfied in that aspect, but it's fine. Overall, it's it's pretty fun read. I, I can recommend it. I probably won't hold on to it just because I don't tend to go back to books like this. Um, I'm not really a mystery thriller person, but I do recommend. Then I also finished the audiobook of The Ones Are Meant to Find by Joan Ha, and to any booktuber out there, it's Joan Ha, not Joan He, Joan Ha. And I can confirm that now because I was pretty sure because it's an Asian author and the H-E sound usually is H huh in um, like Chinese Mandarin. I don't know for sure where um, Joan Ha is from, but I was fairly confident in that. And then listening to the audiobook, because Nancy Wu narrates it, confirms it's Joan Ha. So I need every booktuber to stop saying Joan He. Cool. Really enjoyed this. I think... There is a lot of mixed reviews about The Ones We're Meant to Find, and I think that is because it might have been their first read of a Joan Ha book. This is my second Joan Ha book, and I can now confidently say that Joan Ha has a knack for writing not unsatisfying endings, but endings that are open for interpretation. Very open endings. Sorry for the inability to be focused. But um, it's very different than what I thought it was going to be. There is some unreliable narrator stuff in here. There is some jumpy timeline stuff in here that I find very, very interesting and very cool. Um, there are some very triggering topics, though, going into this. So fair warning, there are... There's a lot. I think on the Goodreads page, though, you can see all of the kind of trigger warnings, so... Note, note to that, there are things like, not, I don't want to say suicide ideation, but there are suicidal moments. I, I don't know how to, when you read the book you'll kind of understand, um, but there is that, there's some terminal illness, there is just a lot of different things in here that I find very interesting, and... I thought it was really well done. I gave it four stars. Um, it's like with Joan Ha's other book, which is Descendant of the Crane, that also has a very open ending. And I still enjoyed that book. Like, I enjoyed the journey. There were a few moments in here I got a little confused. Um, but overall, I thought it was, it had big things to say. And I think some of the reviews that are giving it like two stars and stuff are looking at it at a very surface level 
approach where it has bigger bigger things to say than just what's on the surface so I I enjoyed this I'm glad I read it morning everybody it is February 18th right yeah that's the day um, we have gotten up so far and we've had some breakfast and now we're gonna work out I have also written a list of basically all the things I need to accomplish or want to accomplish Sorry if my hair looking like this, but I'm going to work out, so I don't care about it. Uh, very long list for the weekend. And I'm a little overwhelmed. I'm debating, like, canceling to streaming on, like, Sunday or something. Um, I think it might be best. I'll probably still have this one last shenanigan stream this weekend, but based on the history of how things have gone on Sundays for me, I think it might be better if I just don't stream on those days and just have me day. I mean, I also work on that day now, so. <sighs> but anyway, we're going to stretch and work out. I found some derby workouts um, because I think I'm changing the goal of the exercise classes to just like consistent exercise because the class, the last class I went to, I'm just like, I can't and I don't have the funds to really pay for those kinds of classes. Maybe I will eventually, but right now, that's not a priority. So, let's just work out. workout is done. I also threw in during a, a two minute rest moment I stripped my bed and put it in the wash because I've been meaning to do that. So now we're going to take a shower. No, actually we're not going to take a shower first. I gotta do some more heavy lifting. We're going to move some stuff into the storage unit that was in this room into our little tiny storage room unit outside and then I'm going to take a shower and then in theory we can try to get to work on recording. All right, obviously we're showered. I have cleaned my bed sheets and the bed is made. I have edited through chapter three and now I am getting ready to record. It is almost 1 p.m. which means I have three hours which means I likely will only get this chapter recorded because then I have to edit the next chapter and I don't think I will be getting, I don't know, we'll try but I would love, love to get a couple chapters done today but everything keeps coming up and I'm waiting for the safe light guy to get here so but then we have stream time to do and all the things and trying not to stress preemptively stress out it's just the beginning of the weekend but boy am I stressing out all right well the stream is done and I wrote over 4,000 words on the stream so I still have about 12,000 words left to write this month so maybe we'll actually reach the goal. Who knows? Maybe? I don't know. Um, yeah. I guess we were productive today. It still feels like it wasn't. Because a lot of it was sitting here and doing things from recording to that. Um, but I think I will read a little bit for bed and then go to sleep. And tomorrow we have a long day ahead of us. Woo! Alright. We're about to go swimming, but there's no crack, yay! It's as it is now. We're gonna take off the tape. Ooh, it's very cold this morning, by the way. Baba, it's a windshield, yay! Ready? Quit a bun! Ready? On a moose! I'm on a moose! It's a queen on a moose! Oh, hello! <laughs> sure. Hey, bud. Well, hi, girls. Is it time for medicines? You want some medicines? You do. Yeah. Okay, let's get medicines. Eat one. Eat one. Okay, two dogs. You guys want another one? Good dogs do what? Guess what? Yes, good. Good girls. Yeah, nom, 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 nom. Good, happy? Yay, close the queen. Go for joint. 
What are you doing? What are you thinking? Any kiss? Thank you. <laughs> Hello, we are at the fabric store right now. I'm trying to pick out a Lizzie Bennett um, fabric and I have a few options. Because I don't know if I want to go just like casual day dress or if we want to go full ball now, but if you guys can see, I don't think you guys can see, this is kind of shiny. It's got like a subtle, subtle silvery sheen to it, which feels very Lizzie Bennett ball at Netherfield. Um, we also have this one, if you see. It's hard to do this while I'm holding fabric, but basically a little gold, gold polka dotty. Also feels very Regency. And then down here, there's even more simple. It's just like a very, it's just a gray, gray and white polka dot because most of her costume is pretty like white tones, creams. She has that one pink dress but I don't want to wear that dress. I don't actually usually look good in whites and things. So I'm also like thinking maybe I do one that's just like same, you know, a Regency dress, but in a color that works for me, but I don't know. Yeah, this is why I wanted someone shopping with me, but my shopping partner had to cancel today. <sighs> We're on Sammy's roof. It's so bright. It's so bright. It's so bright. But uh, you can see, you can, I can show you the world. So we'll be coming here for 4th of July and uh, Hell yeah. having a party. Oh yeah. Heck yeah. Heck Come yeah. up here, park the car for the day, have the spot ready for later, you know? Yeah. Come here, put it in the spot, slowly back out later. <laughs> Seating. I'm How you doing? Welcome back to the vlog. Oh yes, I'm okay. You know, we're out here. You're on high. the February vlog right now. February vlog. Okay. So you won't be seeing this till March, but. Under, oh, good, 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 good. I'm okay. You know, we're just all out here living. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so you could potentially get a dog then here, because you I, have this doggy area. I could, um, but watching my friend's dogs definitely showed me that this this walk is just not conducive. <laughs> this walk. This walk is not conducive for the dogs. I mean, they would start losing their shit having to walk all the way out here just to pee in the morning, mm. they were not happy about that at all. And well, it depends on the dog. And just the disrespect of the place. Yeah, it's not that like, great. I'm, I'm very, I don't understand how people can be this whatever. Like, I just don't understand. But yeah, so this is the other side of the building. That's where the, how we have those breezeways. There's three mm. sections, one, two, three. Gotcha. So this is like the middle, obviously, but yeah. Oh, I can smell I'm shit. like, yep, I smell that. Where, where? It's, it's not, that's a urine smell. Hello. It is currently almost 11 p.m. right now. We have finished our stream. We have cleaned up. We did a lot of different things on stream today for productivity. I started working on my bookmarks. I started, I cut out the pattern for the dress. I painted a little bit more. I did some writing. I didn't reach my writing goal for the day, but I came close, so it's fine. Um, we figured out a script for the Stefan parody that is there. Let's see how well I can do that. We did some cleaning. I organized my closets clean. My drawers are now clean. So that's good. And we finished the picture of Dorian Gray. And I really, really enjoyed this. Um, there's just something about the, the way that Oscar Wilde writes that really made me just really enjoy the story. There's some problematic parts of this, which there's a little bit of, you know, there's misogyny, there is a small bit of scene with some anti-Semitism. I mean, I don't know if I can quite qualify it as, but there is a Jewish person that they refer to as the Jew, and, um, is not portrayed in a positive light. So there's a bit of that, so take that with a grain of salt um, if you decide to. But the thing about it is all of the de the, the uh, debauchery and, and terrible things are shown in this, not to show you like this is a good thing, these are bad things. And that's kind of like the point of the story, which is why I, I enjoy it. <clears throat> there's also just 
the amount just Oscar Wilde's kind of voice is what I find I like a lot in this and I, I enjoyed reading it it was it was definitely an interesting time it's different than the other classics that I have read because it's more of that slight horror aspect to it I don't even know if like if this had come out today what you would classify it as it's like I don't know a literary horror I guess is what I would would say but haha -ha, my classic is done for the month and it was good so far yay we're one one and one right now for good classic bad classic <laughs> there you go why do I look so shiny why am I so shiny hello it is the end of the day and I don't think I've actually filmed at all today but I worked and got a creepy text uh, by the way, from a random number that I was working my other job and they texted Hey, or hi, I think I saw you come in King Supers. I wanted to let you know you look amazing. Have a great day. Who? Who did this? Who? I don't have this number saved. I do not know who this is. Confusion. I didn't reach any actual goal today. I'm just like so drained and I feel stretched very thin. And I think I've been talking about this a lot, but you know, sometimes I'm repetitive because I don't remember what I have talked about on camera and otherwise. <laughs> but um, we are just rendering that now. I did a little bit of editing of Search for the Phoenix so that tomorrow, after work and after workout, I can come home and maybe record an episode, or an episode, a chapter. Um, I also washed my fabric, so there's that. But nothing else really got done today. Oh well, but I, I don't like not accomplishing things, but little by little, you know, Oh, I learned that Well Matched by Jen DeLuca is not the last book in the series. There's going to be another one called Well Traveled featuring Mitch's cousin and Dex from book two. So I'm very excited to have this series continue because I really enjoy these this contemporary romances. They get they always have like a super steamy scene um, that I kind of try to get through as fast as possible. <laughs> Granted, I usually listen to them on the audiobook, but still they're still really cute and I like them and they give me too high of hopes for what reality will be like maybe I shouldn't read these romances and things <laughs> hello everybody it is February 21st and I just finished a workout um, I was doing the fitness martial ones again because I was gonna go to the gym but it's fucking cold outside so I wanted to go home right after work so we just worked out for an hour I did two of his 30 minute sessions. Um, the one thing that I find I hate about the more dance style workouts is that my battery is dying. So one second. The thing that I find about these kinds of workouts is that they really emphasize like sexy things and that's really not me. Um, I don't like the, the motivation that they try to give, especially with, with the fitness marshal, is that like talking about like sex and relationships and things in it. Not even relationships, just mostly sex and like how like you know, get your man back, show him how freaky you are and stuff and it's those kinds of things that demotivate me when I'm doing these. Um, also the fact that there's not really good breakdowns of how to do these moves so I end up just like feeling like an idiot in my own room <laughs> where I'm allowed to be an idiot but yeah. I just, I really hate that aspect of like workout culture now is that the only reason to work out is to get sexier and stuff, things like that. And I'm just not a fan, but we're going to go shower and then we're going to record something with Hala and probably video edit or something. I don't know. I didn't reach my writing goal at work today. I got some, but not enough. So yeah, but there's only like, I only have like two more hours left of my day, so Yikes. Hello, it is February 22nd. 
and we did go to work today. It was freaking cold. It still is cold. That's why I'm still wrapped in the blanket. Um, but I came home and filmed a review with Hala for Half a Soul that we're this month. But I also just finished Well Matched by Jen DeLuca, which is the third book in the Well Met series. I thought it was going to be the final one, but it's not. We're going to have Well Traveled, which is exciting. And I really, really like this. I love this whole series. Granted, it does have, like, some steamy scenes that I'm not a fan of. But I do love these characters and I wish Mitch was a real person because he is a delightful little good natured, he's, he's a himbo, he's a himbo and I love him. I love him a great deal and I was a little weirded out going into this because there is an age gap in this. April is like, because she's almost 40 and Mitch is like just just hitting his 30s I think um, so there is a, a, an age gap that I'm usually uncomfortable with but their chemistry worked so well and I thought it it was really I thought it was really good so it has eased that that hesitancy of age gap stuff for me I just I was okay with the age gap in this one it worked out okay um, I really liked April's inner turmoil because it was very resonating very well I can't talk it resonated with me with her anxieties about you know people like she's she does not do social situations well she prefers to be alone she's very independent doesn't need anyone and I really felt that with her um, because I am I'm the same way which might be why dating life is so hard for me because like I am fine on my own but I still gotta want someone but Mm, they really gotta work hard to fit into my world. I really love this. I love their dynamic and I I just love it. I love that we're gonna get more of the Malone family in the next book with Lulu and I'm very excited for that but yes if you haven't if you need a really cute romance that also features a renaissance fair well the Renaissance Fair is the most featured in book one. It's not as featured in the next, the other two books. It still always has the Ren Fair, which I super enjoy. And there's always a Ren Fair element to it with how they're involved because Mitch is Marcus McGregor and he's the Scottish, <laughs> he plays the Scottish villain uh, for these. Well, I don't know if he's necessarily the villain, but I forget who's, because Captain, because Simon's also like a pirate so he might be a villain too anyway there's this human chess match that he's in um that he's the main draw for and that is fun and i want to see a human chess match my ren fair doesn't have one of those and i feel kind of cheated that i've never seen one i've seen the jousts and stuff but not a human chess mass match i can talk yes <laughs> so we finished that one i'm trying to figure out what i should do for the rest of the night because i do not work tomorrow now i will work on friday because they're shutting us down for a day because of work stuff um so none of the techs will be working which means nobody works basically so um i get the day off but i also have to work on friday now which also interrupts stream schedule it interrupted a an apartment showing <sighs> so there's that um i did while i was at work create um like little tasky tasks so like things so i can focus on so for example if i pull one out the task it's saying is dnd &D. <laughs> so that would be me researching D D because that's one of my goals so something to kind of help keep me on track for the stuff that i need to do um instead of bouncing around every like 20 minutes to a different task and nothing's actually getting done but kind of doing a focused effort on that task but i made those while at work today i wrote a script today for a march video at work which is gonna be a fun one i hope you guys like it i uh had a little bit too much fun with that but it's eight o'clock and i don't know if i just want to read not if i see you first and focus on that or if i want to work on something else i don't know i don't know kind of want to relish in the the joy of that was well matched 
done this lovely little series. It's so great. Also, a thing I did today uh, was I wrote up all the books that I have kept which basically all the books on that shelf. So now I can officially tell you there are 267 books on that shelf and then 610 in there and here. So I own 800. Oh, no, no, because I actually forgot to put this one in. So I have 878 physical books um, in my room. Which, like... I kind of want it to be a thousand and it would be had I not gotten rid of 150 books at the end of the year <laughs> last year but still there's that so I don't know what I'm gonna do for the rest of the night maybe I'll draw from the bag maybe I will just relax and let that all be a focus of tomorrow I don't know hello again it's now 10 15 p.m. And I just finished reading Not If I See You first, so I did end up um, pulling a task from the bag, and it was reading, so. <sighs> this actually completes my TBR for February. I don't have to roll the, spin the wheel of punishment, yay! And this was okay. Sorry, I'm trying to block out the little light behind me there. Um, I don't hate it. I, it was, it got very dramatic. <laughs> good. Um, it dealt with a lot more complicated things than anticipated. Uh, there was a lot of layers to it. Uh, I like the ending. I thought it was a solid ending. It didn't do exactly what you would think of a YA contemporary, but does it in a way that it's like, cool. All right. I, I can accept that. Um, so, very interesting. We have a kind of slightly unlikable uh, protagonist. She's very flawed, and it's not the blindness that's the flaw, it's kind of her attitude. And she's had some trauma, like the character's dad is dead at this, had, had recently died. Um, and she's navigating this new reality without him, with her cousins and aunt having moved in to take care of her but she wants to be fiercely independent and so she's kind of teetering this line of trying to hold everything together for herself but of course holding in your emotions for prolonged time especially after a long trauma like losing your father uh it's gonna explode so um it went in interesting paths or some of the relationships I really liked what it said about friendships. There was a moment where certain things about... They, there was a moment about, about Japan in here, actually, because she wears blindfolds and one of them is a uh, Japanese one that's for kamikaze. And I wasn't, wasn't a fan of that. But, you know, she does acknowledge how it was probably in, inappropriate. But, yeah. And there was a slight moment where I thought... We were going to get fat Jamie. Turned into a little bit more, not body positivity, but it wasn't really a topic. So it was just like briefly mentioned that there was a character who was overweight and some other character said some mean, meaner things about it, but it didn't lead to anything truly fat phobic, I should say. So it was, it was decent. I would say a decent three star. Um, don't know if I'll hang on to it because it's not one that I feel like I need to go back and read again, but definitely uh, was an interesting read. Glad I read it. Good morning. <laughs> I'm doing a face mask right now, as you can tell. Isn't it brutal? <laughs> I didn't want to deprive you guys of my beautiful face, um, but doing some self-care this morning. I worked out already, took a shower, now we're doing this, and then we have stuff to do.
All right, it is 12.20 now. We have finished the brownies for work. They're also gluten-free and sugar-free and protein. We have cleaned the bathroom. We have fully cleaned the kitchen. Like, everything's drying now because I mopped and everything. I scrubbed the tub and everything. We went all out on cleaning today. Booyah. All right, we have filmed and now I'm going to change back into chill clothes which is basically just changing the shirt because I'm still in my comfy pants. You better believe it. So it is now almost two o'clock. So we will attempt to record at least one chapter of Ashport um, and then move on from there. I would like to record a lot more, but trying to divvy up my time well with all the different things I need to do. And maybe if I finish everything else, we'll go back to it. I don't know, but anyway. Let's get comfortable again. It is 3.40 p.m. and I have just finished recording chapter four. There's still 10 more. How many chapters was it? Was it 14? I think it's 14 chapters. 10 more chapters, ugh. That's enough talking for today. <laughs> All right, it is 6.30 and I have finally finished ironing my fabric. It is now a nice flat five foot piece of fabric. And that is, that is it. We only have like three and a half hours left in the day. So, <laughs> and I did spend a really long time applying for jobs. I just went through all the save jobs I had on LinkedIn and just applied for a bunch of them. And now that's cleared. So I've done that, I've done that. Which means I really need to get to writing. I don't think I will get to um, reading Wires and Nerve tonight. So we're gonna focus on writing and changing the battery. We have been interrupted. Do you have something you wanna say? Really? What are we doing? Questions. Halfway to my goal. But this happens. Better? Good? No? Okay. Wanna say bye? Lucy's better at this than you are. We have reached writing goal. I've actually exceeded writing goal. Well, I technically only have two more things to do, which is a quick edit of the Half a Soul things, which I think I'm going to try to do before we stop and do some re Clean the face. We have finished editing the video, which means the only thing I did not get to today was reading Wires and Nerve Gone Rogue, the second book. So we are going to quickly calculate how many points I get to add to this guy. I've also thought of a new thing for this because I felt like I accomplished 100 points rather quickly. So I'm going to do my 100 and get my reward. But then after finishing this, now I got to reach 200 to get a reward and kind of add it each time to uh, make it a little bit more difficult. But let's see. Things we get, we get a point for today. I took my meds. We reached our daily word goal. I did do a face mask. That is not an actual pencil. That's, that's an actual pencil. There we go, face mask. We did job applications. I did so many today. Um, usually it's one one point per job app, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give myself three points. So one, two, three. We're pulling points in colored pencils. Um, we did cleaning, uh, but we did heavy cleaning. So I did a full bathroom and kitchen. So that's five points. So one, two, three, four, five. We did that. We did dedicated productivity for at least one hour on a lot of things today. So we'll give ourselves three points there. Ba boom oh, and we did our workout we did our workout so that's three points there as well i might have reached my my 100 points just in how much productivity i did 
today. I'm actually quite surprised. 12, 13, 14, 15. I reached my goal. We reached it. Plus a little extra. So hold on. I'm going to set you guys there. I booked it today. I really, I don't think I've had this productive of a day in a long ass time. It was almost too easy to do because I started this this month. I, I didn't start this last month. I, this is February alone, which is why I need to up the ante. Ta-da! Which means I have two points to carry over into the other one, but we go to the time machine bag. A little bullet first. And we see what our reward is. We are going to do this reward, which is a second in Charles run. I don't know when I'll be able to do this. Sometime this weekend, maybe. Uh, but basically, I can spend twenty-five dollars because there's always a, a coupon I have, but it gives me five dollars off when I spend twenty-five. So basically, spending twenty dollars. That's second in Charles. Yay! All right, I'm going to go to bed. I don't actually even think I'm going to read, but I do think I will be reading graphic novels for the rest of the month because Hala has almost four of hers ready. Cause so I'm going to read XYZ and what she calls Wack, Wake, Wakeot. Wakeot? What's it actually an acronym for again? With a cherry on top. That's what it means. I'm just going to pass out now. I think that's my best plan. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow, maybe. Hi! What? Oh! Whoa! Oh my goodness! Hi! Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Hello, it is just past nine o'clock. We are going to bed. I didn't do too much tonight after I got home from work. I've been just tired all day. I didn't really reach my word count. I'm close to it, but I currently only need to write like a little under a thousand words a day to reach the word count. So hopefully we'll have more time for that maybe tomorrow and stuff. Although I do work tomorrow, but it shouldn't be that heavy of a day at work, which means sometimes I can go in my Google Drive and type it, type it, type. Um, when I came home, I did update a bit of my little planner doohickey, and I also created the next um, point graph thing. So this should be 200 points on this. Sorry, you can't see over my shadow. At all. But anyways, I've already filled in, I've only filled in three points uh, because today literally the only thing I can give myself points for is taking my meds. <laughs> I'm gonna go nine nine now, bye! Hello everybody, um, we streamed, I came home and we streamed and I did, I finished February's writing goal. I finished it three days ahead of schedule. I caught up with both January and February. We're 230 words over. So, that's nice. I can take a break for three days. I don't have to write. Whew. I also went a little crazy with my Excel sheet again and organized some more stuff and created a sheet just for 2021 releases and for 2022 releases and organized them by month. Because, <laughs> nerd. I think we wrote over 42K in February. The shortest month of the year. Tomorrow. Tomorrow we are going to Second and Charles to spend our first reward. Well done to me. Um, and I'm debating if I, how I want to work out tomorrow. If I want to just work out here, if I want to go to the gym, if I want to swim, because my mom has to work now, so we're not going together. Um, so to decide, to decide, to decide that, we do have productivity sprints tomorrow, so we'll have to figure out what kind of tasks we want to alternate around, but for now I'm just gonna go to bed, I'm tired, this sucks.
go to school sleep time. Good morning, everybody. It's almost 10 a.m. and I've done absolutely nothing so far today. <sighs> Wonderful job, me, on a, on a productivity day. I'm just not feeling it. Um, we are going to go get my car's oil changed. And then we're going to go to St. Charles. We're going to go to the mail because we sold we sold some books yesterday. Going to do that. Um, yeah. Run a few errands then come back. I'm going to try to record some more audiobook probably. I think that's more where my priorities are lying. And then we have stream later. So. Well. Good thing I have this routine to listen to. <laughs> oh lord, this car's gonna cost me so much money. Hello. We are in Second and Charles doing my $25 reward thing. And I have found some books. Number one, we have found Price Guide to the Occult with fancy sprayed edges for $5.50. Um, well done. Splinters of Scarlet by Emily Bain Murphy for $7.50. So this is Love by Elizabeth Lim. A little bit damaged of a copy, but it is $8.95, so about $9. So I have Let's talk about Love by Claire Kahn, which is an ace story for $4.50. And The Memory Police by, I forget, Yoko Ogawa for $5.95. So I need to total these up and see if I can allow myself to buy them all. All right, we have come out. I decided to forego Splinters of Scarlet. There were lots of copies there anyway for it. Um, and I'm not, it's probably the one I'm the least interested in of those selection. I'm really happy to have found um, Memory Police because I've been looking for that for a really long time as well as Price Guide to the Occult. So this is lovely, lovely, lovely lighting right now. We're going to run to the store and then we're going to go home. Like the day already is gone and I work tomorrow and I'm just like, yeah, you know. chicken scratch notes say. Tell me your notes. Okay. Watashi no ichiban daisuki na ryori wa nihon no kare daisu desu. Hai. Tsuku ka shiitake 500 gramu. 500, eh? Yeah. What would that be in, in, in Japanese? 500 gramu desu. Hai, tsugi. Hai o Tip? Is that it? Kiru? That's what I want. I'm like, tip or ticket? Yeah, no. I'm gonna ticket your vegetables. Allow them entrance into. <laughs> We're charging an entry fee for all vegetables into curry. Hello. It's been a day of not doing the things I'm supposed to be doing. So I've recorded one chapter of the audiobook. So now we have five chapters plus the prologue recorded. Still got a lot more to go. Uh, there's not enough hours in the day to do all this stuff, but I filmed my TBR, hence the makeup. And that took an hour and a half to do because somehow the dice were very mean to me and made me roll 12 books, technically 14 with the classic and the indie helped Fee with um, studying for her exam in Japanese, that's what you saw earlier, <clears throat> and decided to dive down a rabbit hole of fixing up my Excel sheet and going on to Book Outlet and recorrecting all of the wishlist stuff because they finally fixed their search engine while I was rendering the TBR video. So now I'm going to be working on that and not do anything else I said I was going to do today. <sighs> Sometimes I really hate being me. So we have one day left of February and we work. So bah. I did make a meal though. Technically I made two meals today because I made breakfast. I made a bunch of protein pancakes and then I just made this other ground beefy Italian-y. I'm calling it Italian slop. <laughs> That's what I'm calling it now. 
because there's no noodles. It would be like the filling of manicotti, but there's no noodles. So it's just the filling of manicotti. <laughs> Protein baby. But my TBR, can you see it? That, that massive stack of books right there. This stack, that's the TBR for March. Uh, all right, it's 8.30 now. I've just finished the first like basic edit of the TBR video because that has to go up on Friday. Uh, so today was not the kind of productive day I wanted it to be, especially considering I didn't work my other job and I'm kind of regretting not doing it, but I'm supposed to get a really big bonus on Wednesday. So that's where I justified not doing it. Um, but yeah, this TBR video is almost 46 minutes long because of that giant ass TPR that happened, but I still have to go through and do all the text and stuff on top of it, but we will do that at a later time this week before it goes out. We are going to just read in bed. I'm gonna to try to get one of the graphic novels done and then just wind down for the rest of the night. I am disappointed in myself, but Whatever, one more day left, one day more. Hello, oh my goodness, what's wrong with my eyeballs? This is weird, one of my eyes look weird. We have finished reading Wires and Nerve, Gone Rogue, volume two, and probably final volume. I don't think there's going to be a volume three at all with this because the story wrapped up, the big villain and everything was taken care of. Um, and yeah, I don't really see a need for volume three except for all the things that I want uh, with all these characters because I do love a lot of Lunar Chronicles characters um, and I would like to see further development for these two in particular. Um, I do one thing about this these graphic novels between volume one and two I think they could have been combined into one and it would have been fine um, and I also am one thing that I got annoyed with, especially with the first one, is that in the book Stars Above, which is a collection of um, short stories for Luna Chronicles, there's an epilogue with a certain wedding that takes place, and these graphic novels ignore that. There's like two different um, canon storylines for, I mean, granted in both storylines those characters end up engaged and getting married, but there is um, a weird deviation in the timelines for it between the two. So that's thing, something I'm not a fan of. It's, it's something that I see a lot when like TV shows move into comics or something and then they deviate from the canon. And I don't like when that happens. Not when it's official canon material. So, I'm not a fan of that. Still love this, still love these characters. Do wish there had been more um, Thorn and Cress in in this at all. There was a lot of Scarlet and Wolf, and a lot of Cinder and Kai, and a decent amount of uh, Winter especially, but not so much like Winter and Jason. But Thorn and Cress in these graphic novels seem to get left out quite a bit, which is sad because they're one of my favorite characters in the Lunar Chronicles. So, but anyway, finish this one. Now I just have to finish listening to Vespertine and maybe reading The Graceling and We'll be on our way to March's horrible, horrible TBR. All right, last day of February. I just got off work and we are heading. Hello, sorry for the, the cutoff video, <laughs> but uh, my battery immediately died. I didn't realize it was so freaking low, but we're home now. I went to the gym and I was on an elliptical for a whole hour. I managed. I also have just finished reading Vespertine by Margaret Rogerson and I really did enjoy this. It took me a bit to get into it because there is extensive world building that needs to be understood to fully appreciate the book but I really really like this. I love the dynamic between our main character Artemisia and the Revenant who this this world involves a lot of spirits and kind of demonic creatures and kind of this bond between them that's on accident and they're kind of their banter. I thoroughly enjoyed their banter. The consistent where you think you know exactly who the villain is and then it's someone else and then there's more complications to it. I really like the epilogue of this. Um, it is the beginning of, I believe, a duology? 
possibly a trilogy because I've been on Margaret Rogerson's Tumblr and said that there could be a it could be a full trilogy so I don't know but it's a great book just as a standalone as well like this could work easily as a standalone but I know it is a um duology at the very least it is a duology but thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed this I love Margaret Rogerson's world building I love her writing style like she comes up with the most unique worlds that I am just in love with so heck yeah um it is about 7 30 now I still want to read Graceling real quick so we're gonna just literally sit back and read that and then we'll find out what we're going to do for the rest of the night. It's almost 9 o'clock. We have finished Graceling, the graphic novel version. This was a really nice way to re-experience Graceling. Um, I, how many years ago did I read Graceling? I want to say 2017 is when I read it, maybe? 2017, 2018? Something like that. But I, I really love Graceling a lot. It's fire i think is my favorite book of the three i haven't read winter keep yet but this was a very very nice way to delve back into that world and remember the story it was very accurate to what i remember in the novel um it does lose a little bit of the nuance uh to the story because graphic novels are much faster paced i mean the graceling novel is like 450 pages or something and this is under 300 and you know it's done in pictures because it's a graphic novel but <clears throat> even without all of that it still works as a story I, I think that if you read just this versus the novel you do lose a bit of like the character building aspects of it because it does rush a bit of um like Katza and Poe's relationship and Katza's own growth and realization to what her Graceling is and all that. I was really hoping the epilogue would still have um, what we kind of see for for the book, if I'm remembering the book correctly. Am I? Or is it Bitter Blue that that happens? I think it's Bitter Blue that that happens. Never mind. That's in Bitter Blue's ending. Um, but yeah, I definitely want to see more of these. I hope they're going to do more of these. But that is it. That is February. We're done. So we did 16 books, I think, in February. So like, oh yeah, I drew 14 for my March TBR. That should be easy, right? No, like so many of the books this month were graphic novels that were very fast to read through. And I'm nervous for the other ones. I did kind of jump ahead um, today while I was at work and started reading Beastly by Jay Noble and I'm about 40% of the way done with it already um, but I figure I'll try to knock things out pretty quickly uh, but I'm gonna chill for the rest of the night and all that jazz so this has been the February vlog <laughs> If you have questions or comments, leave them down below. Thanks to anybody who stayed all the way through this very long vlog. But that's what these are now. So check me out on the other socials. Ooh. I'm sleepy. Um, and uh, yeah, check me out on Kofi. You want to support me as a content creator and see you on Twitch and all that jazz. Bye. Sorry for the blurry, blurry photo. This is why we need a new camera. Support me on Kofi. Hi. Uh, we are In driving. 1, feet, turn left onto East 56th Avenue. Okay.